Have you always wanted to see the Aurora Borealis, or more commonly known as the Northern Lights? Well, tonight could be one of your best chances, at least for as far south as Illinois is. Over the past two days, the sun has spewed off a lot of energy towards Earth in the form of CMEs or coronal mass ejections seen on this video. These bursts of energy interact with the Earth's atmosphere and can cause northern lights. One of these Earth-facing sunspots are responsible for it, and it happens to be a very large sunspot too. All these factors combined are leading to NASA predicting the strongest solar storm since 2005. As we speak, the energy from these CMEs are beginning to interact with some satellites very close to Earth, and we're already seeing very impressive amounts of energy interacting with these satellites. So this is the latest forecast, with the green line down here forecasting the southern extent you'll be able to view the northern lights on the horizon, probably only with a camera though. But that is way down south through central Texas and into the Gulf of Mexico. This green arc further north is where the auroral oval will be centered, meaning activity should be directly overhead and at its maximum in northern Minnesota and Wisconsin. This is where you typically get your best show. What's very interesting is that if you were at the North Pole for this, where northern lights are the most common, you'd actually probably be only seeing the lights on the southern horizon due to just how strong the solar storm is. In other words, you'd actually be too far north. For us in Illinois, we're expecting a good show with northern lights visible to the naked eye away from any light pollution, possibly up to 35 degrees in the sky or even higher. If timing is right, lights could possibly be nearly directly overhead for a period of time overnight tonight. Of course, the show will be better the further north you are and the further away from light pollution you are, but this is a situation where we should be able to see auroras just about anywhere across the state, barring cloud cover of course. So yeah, about those clouds though. There will be a cold front sliding southward across the state tonight though, bringing a line of showers from 8pm further north to 2-3am to 3 further south, with cloudy conditions along and south of the front. This is a cloud cover forecast map, which shows clearing rather quickly behind the front tonight around 11pm to midnight in northwestern Illinois. Clouds won't clear out further south until 2-4am, to 4 which means the best viewing conditions will be in northwestern Illinois most likely. So here's a map of light pollution hotspots. You can see how the Chicago metro area is a huge one as well as the St. Louis area, with Peoria, Springfield, and other bigger towns throughout the state being also big hotspots as well. You can see how northwestern Illinois is probably a good area to go due to the low levels of cloud cover and several darker spots such as this one west of Freeport, and then even if you don't want to go too far north, these areas just west of Princeton are good as well, although you'll see these Sterling, Dixon, Rochelle hotspots on the horizon. If you're in the Chicago area, you really need to get out, as anywhere in the suburbs or the city are just too bright for you to be able to see these with the naked eye. Although this is such a strong solar storm, you still might be able to see some activity through the, through the light pollution, but it'll likely be better if you head into northwestern Illinois, where it'll be darker. If you're further south, you have some good areas to go that aren't super light polluted, such as south of Macomb, west of Jacksonville, but we're worried about cloud cover being prevalent across central and southern Illinois into the wee hours of the morning, which would ruin the best part of the show. So in combining light pollution and cloud cover concerns, this is where we think the best and worst viewing spots will be across the state. Anywhere away from a population center would be a good start, but clouds will hamper viewing conditions across much, much of central and southern Illinois. These areas still might get to see some action in between the clouds though. Further north, things should clear out after midnight and will give away to a good viewing experience as long as you get away from light pollution. Again, really anywhere in the immediate Chicago metro area including the suburbs is just too bright, you're going to have to go to a more rural location where you can see a little better. Normally when you think of seeing northern lights, you think of seeing them in a location such as this like Canada or Norway. However, we may have the chance to see such a great display at our latitudes tonight. If you can, try to make some time to stay up and see what you can see. It'll hopefully be worth it if everything goes as planned. Forecasting space weather is very hard, but this has the potential to be the real deal. Enjoy the show tonight if you can see anything, and thanks for watching.